and if lam is joined to the previous letter it will have a curve going off to the left whereas an alif will not. Then we have the lam joined with the alif and again they draw the lam coming down uh, join it backwards and then go up onto the alif itself. Now this is definitely an alif because it doesn't have the small hamza on it however in the Majidi script you may get times when they drop the hamza and it can look like an alif. Alphabets 24 to 26 so we have meme, noon and wow. The meme um, can be very difficult to spot. You can see here we've got three memes joined together. So the first meme is like a filled in circle at the top. Then we have this meme in the middle. So in the Uthmani script, this can be very difficult to spot. It sometimes gets confused or people can get confused thinking it's the top of a ha, um, the forceful ha, but it's not. This is a meme. And you'll see this written in a lot of Uthmani scripts in the name Muhammad. And at the end, it does look like a meme. So it's not too difficult. The noon is um, drawn here three times again. Again, you can spot it by looking at the single dot. And it's a single dot above these very small curves. Wow is very easy to spot. The only thing to notice with wow, like the dal, dal, ra, and za, it cannot join to the next letter. So we've put a lamb here showing it joining to the wow. Alphabets 27 to 29, so we've got Ya, Ha, the soft Ha, and Hamza. The Ya, again, the shape it will take in the joined up form of these small curves, and you just look for the two dots underneath. It looks like a Ya at the end of a word, so that's quite easy. Now the Ha, the soft Ha, which comes from the lowest part of your throat, can be drawn in many ways. So on its own, it looks like a small uh, me or medium sized circle beginning of the word you've got two loops in the middle of the word it's like you could say it's like two butterfly wings and at the end it takes on a curve um, going sort of to the left side so again that needs a bit of memorization the Hamza is one of the easier letters to spot once you know how many different ways it can be written and we've covered this in the previous lesson so here we have Hamza um, we have Hamza underneath an alif where the alif is actually joining to the previous letter. We have Hamza on an alif, seated on an alif, joining to the previous letter. Lam and alif with Hamza on top of the alif, so i.e. it's Lam and Hamza seated on an alif. Lam and Hamza seated under an alif. We've got Lam and Hamza underneath an alif join, written in a joined up format. Then we have Hamza on a wow, we've joined it to a lamb here just to show how it joins. Remember Hamza on a wow, you will never get the wow joining to the next letter. We have Hamza sitting here on top of a, um, this little curve is just used to join it up in sometimes at the middle of a word really. And then we have Hamza sitting on top of a ya. Remember when Hamza sits on top of a ya, they drop the two dots underneath. So these are all Hamzas again written in different formats. The ta marbuta is again has the shape of the ha with the two dots of the normal ta in the alphabet. And over on the left, we have it in joined up format. Normally, the first one here is written when it's joined to the end of a word. So we have lam and then ta marbuta. So, conclusion. Now you should be able to recognize the Arabic alphabet letters when you see them joined up. One thing to note here is you might need a bit of practice, so maybe take the examples that we've seen and try to write them out yourself without looking a few times.